I'm going to be making a finger joint jig for my table saw, single blade, so it'll have a lot of small slices. Let's measure and cut. This board will be the base of the jig. I'll cut a similar board size and this will be the vertical that I can lean the workpiece on when making cuts. Here we have the two sections. I'm measuring and drawing a pencil line where the vertical board will be fastened. I'll drill out the holes first. Then I'll countersink with this step bit. We want the screw heads to be flush with the board. I'm using clamps to hold the two pieces in place while I fasten them with screws. First part's done. I'll use some scrap strips I have and cut them to size for the runners. The runners are sitting well enough, let's move on. I set the table saw fence, butt the jig to it, and cut a kerf into the sled. I'm testing this strip of wood for snug. And it is. It's the same thickness as the table saw blade. I'm using epoxy to set the strip, which is the key. It should be placed next to the blade, only one kerf space over. Take a look. Notice we have the kerf of the blade, a space that's the same thickness as the blade, and then the strip. The strip is the key that you'll place each consecutive finger joint on as you make your cuts. I'll use the remaining epoxy to bond the sled to the runners. Once the epoxy is cured, I'll drill holes where the screws will go. I'll also countersink the drilled out holes. We want the screws to sit flush on the runners. Now we'll cut the back supports. We'll add glue to all the support pieces and put them in place. I'll add some brad nails to fasten the supports and act like clamps as the glue dries. Let's test the jig and see how good a job it does. And it came out great. This jig will come in handy. I painted the jig in red and called it a wrap.